A local doctor and veteran who served at Reese Air Force Base here in Lubbock recently launched into his final journey. KCBD News Channel 11's Natalie Falconberry joins us in the studio now with the details of his cosmic cremation. Natalie? Well, Karen and Abner, Dr. John Darby, who was well known at the Reese Air Force Base as Doc Darby, always had a love for aviation and space. And thanks to a company called Celestis, his remains were launched into space last Thursday. <laughs> it was at midnight, and when it blasted off, you know, it looked like sunrise for a second. Dr. John Darby's remains were on that SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket heading off into orbit, something his wife Corinne says was a lifelong said, dream oh of gosh, his. He, just loved this. he loved anything that had to do with space, rockets. He was the guy in the neighborhood with the telescope on the driveway. Dr. Darby's fascination with space began as a young boy when he would launch rockets in his backyard, and that love launched him into the United States Air Force. So Randy went to Tufts University Medical School on an Air Force scholarship, and he interviewed with the Navy and with the Air Force, but he chose the Air Force because of his love of flying. Then he and Corinne ended up in Lubbock, where he served as the Chief of Flight Medicine at Reese Air Force Base for four years. He did a lot of sorties, flew around with a lot of the, the test pilots. We just had a fun time there. The pair then moved to Maine, where they spent many years enjoying the outdoors together, until 2018 when Darby fell suddenly ill following a flu vaccination. It's very rare for people to develop Guillain-Barre, but he did. And uh, he developed it pretty quickly um, after that flu vaccine and passed away six months later. And for five years, Darby's loved ones have been waiting to send him on his final journey. We are just, we love the fact that he's up there, and I think he would be so excited. Dr. John Darby was 62 years old. His remains will be orbiting the Earth for the next 10 years.